Hello everyone. Today we'll be installing WordPress on our host Metro account. As you can see we've already opened the hosting account information email and we'll begin by clicking on the link for the cPanel. We'll log in and here you can see the host Metro cPanel control panel we'll scroll all the way down to Softaculous Apps Installer and we'll click on the WordPress icon. Next we'll click on the Install tab and here we see the form we'll need to complete in order to install WordPress. We'll begin by selecting a protocol for our site. The default is fine choose domain the domain is correct directory now this is an important selection if we wish to use WordPress as the content management system for the entire website we need to leave this form field blank so we'll simply remove WP database name the default is fine table prefix the default is fine site settings we'll call our site NCM test site site description we'll fill in a description for our site enable multi-site as we only require one WordPress installation we're going to leave this box unchecked. Admin username, admin is fine. Password, we'll paste the secure password here. Admin email, the default here is fine. Select language, the default English is fine. Next we need to select plugins. Limit login attempts is an excellent plugin. It helps to thwart hackers, so we will check this box. Next we'll take a look at the advanced options. Disable update notifications. We'll leave that unchecked. Auto upgrade. That's a time saver we'll check that off. Auto upgrade WordPress plugins also a time saver we'll check that off. Auto upgrade themes same thing. Automated backups we'll select backups for our site once per week that should be sufficient. Backup rotation this is the number of copies backup copies that is that are kept on the server. Four should do fine. The next thing we need to do is select a theme. If we don't select a theme here we can select one later. This is an optional step and we'd like to leave the default theme for now so we are not going to make a selection. And finally we'll click on the install button. As you can see from the progress bar WordPress is installing. And the message tells us that the software was installed successfully. Next, we'll head over to the WordPress dashboard by clicking on the WP Admin URL. We'll log in. And here you can see our new WordPress dashboard. To create a new post, 
we simply click on the plus new post and here we could give our new post a title and within this form field we would add our content and then we would click the publish button for now we're just going to take a look at our site by clicking the visit site link and here you can see what our new WordPress site looks like this is the default hello world post that can be deleted by using the WordPress dashboard I want to thank you for watching this video and invite you to visit NCM online for web hosting reviews coupon codes and more